In written English articles, books, internet posts, etc., you will quite often see two abbreviations, EG and IE. The meanings and use of these initialisms are often confused by native and non native speakers alike. What does it mean when these initials are used? Both EG and IE are abbreviations of Latin terms borrowed into English without being changed. EG stands for exempli gratia. IE stands for id est. We normally just say EG and IE. Meaning of EG in English. EG or exemplis gratia means for the sake of example. We can think of it as meaning simply for example. We use EG to introduce one or more examples. By using EG, we are making it clear that we are only naming a few possible examples among many or at least several. For example, many sports related idioms in English, EG on the ball and right off the bat, have to do with baseball. Meaning of IE in English. IE is often used when EG would be appropriate, but it is not about examples. IE or it s means in English, that is to say. That is to say means something like in other words. When we say this in English, we wish to clarify what was just said in order to be more clear. For example, idioms, i.e., metaphorical and figurative expressions, are abundant in all languages and understanding them is essential to comprehension. What you may notice is that their purpose is almost opposite. EG stands to open up more options, while IE narrows things down to one. How to use EG and IE in writing. It is always recommended to use periods in these abbreviations. As well, pretty much all English writing style guides recommend inserting a comma after the abbreviation and before the additional text. If you feel the need, you can set off this part of the sentence in parentheses. Here is an example using parentheses. Any form of exercise, e.g. walking, jogging, riding a bike, is helpful and beneficial to your health. Note that unless you are writing something formal, you do not always need to use these abbreviations. It is always perfectly fine to write out for example or that is. Examples of how to use e.g. and i.e. in sentences. Please note that the examples used here are chosen for ease of understanding. They are not necessarily the type of formal writing in which we would usually use these initialisms. I found a show I want to watch on Netflix, i.e. dark, but I'll have to wait until the weekend so I can binge it. I found some shows I'd like to watch on Netflix, e.g. dark, stranger things, and lost in space, but I'll have to wait until the weekend so I can binge them. I only really enjoy watching one sport in the Summer Olympics, i.e. gymnastics. I enjoy watching the Summer Olympics, i.e. gymnastics, track and field, swimming, but I don't really watch the Winter Olympics. Here are some sentences to test yourself on the proper use of e.g. versus i.e. Are these sentences correct or incorrect? Sentence 1. During the pandemic, avoid exercising in confined spaces with other people, e.g. indoors. Sentence number two. I am not a fan of fast food, e.g. McDonald's and Wendy's, and I prefer to cook my own meals. Sentence number three. I like a pizza with all meat toppings, i.e. pepperoni. Number four. Hawaiian pizza, i.e. pineapples and ham, is not my favorite by a long shot. Sentence one is incorrect. It should be i.e. Sentence two is correct, e.g. is used appropriately. Sentence 3 is incorrect. Sentence 4 is correct. Let me know how you did in the comments below.